Hi, I'm Chris Toy with Boomer Tech Adventures, and today I'm here with Jill Spencer, who is going to talk with us about why she got an Apple Watch. Hi, Jill. Hello, Chris. So, you have an Apple Watch. I do. All right. And can you tell us a little bit about your thought process for why you finally decided to get one? Well, I really like watches. I always have. I check the time regularly. I think it goes back to being a teacher where I'm always keeping track. How many more minutes do I have before the class is over? And I have to also admit that I was intrigued because it was a new technological gadget and my nephew's wife had one and I just thought it would be fun to have one. So I debated for a couple of years and then made the decision to get one. All right. So it wasn't a purely technical reason. No. It was kind of an interest. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, cool. My, my phone is not always right next to me. And so having the watch allows me to access my phone. Great. Great. So you went out, you got the watch. Yep. So tell us, how, how did you set it up? Well, if you look at my phone, maybe this way, does that make mm -hmm. sense? There is an app, it's called the Watch, and when I open it up, you see I have all these options. So going right down, I'm not going to go through all of them, but I'll show you. So I have, on my current watch, I have three faces. I have kind of a standard uh, clock, then I have kind of the digital approach, and then I used a picture from my photo album with my dog on it, so I can change them. But then you see I have all these choices, notifications. I have different things turned on so the notifications come to me on my watch as well as on my phone. Um, let's see, general gives me some options. Uh, it'll automatically install apps. I can affect air, it will tell me if I'm on airplane mode and I can change it. Um, Let's see what else is here. Enable dictation. So this means I can answer a text on my phone if it comes in, and my or a text on my watch, I'm sorry. And I can hit the microphone and speak into it and send it. Uh, handoff means I could, uh, whatever I was working on, I could hand it off to another Apple device. So there's a lot of options there. Let me just go back real quickly. So you can see I've got all these different options. And I'll be honest with you, I haven't gone through all of them. But I have a lot of control on what my watch will and will not do. And then if I use this menu over here, you can see, look at all of the different faces for my watch I can have. There's something for everybody. Um, can make it look like a real fancy watch, fire and water. Anyway, you can see there's lots of uh, lots of options, and one of them is photos, and that's where I went and did uh, got the photo of my dog. Now, then the third menu piece is discover, and so there are all sorts of helps here on how to use your watch how it works, etc. So the the Apple phones, the iPhones app is how you control what shows up on your watch. And again, pretty easy. Anything you do, you can always undo, which I think is pretty important. Mm. All right. So if you look at this watch face now, I can't take it off my wrist. Uh, because it doesn't work unless it's on my wrist. But you see up here at the top, there's a little airplane. That means it's my phone and my watch are on airplane mode. Um, I have here, whoops, come back. These three, these is my activity rings. And I can set goals. You can see I've only taken 378 uh steps this morning so I have a few more to go only barely over a tenth of a mile uh, so I can set 
different goals. I have a stand goal, an exercise goal, move, and these rings tell me how uh, close I am to meeting those goals. And um, they work pretty well as a motivator. Hmm. So, and then I just use a little yeah. so, thing to go back. So what are, what are, you know, maybe three or four of the most useful things that you found uh, this watch does for you? Well, what I really love is, let's say I'm outside and my phone rings and I can answer it on my wrist and carry on a conversation. So I have to be on the, the same, I have to be close enough to my phone that it'll work. In other words, I can't be three blocks away. But anywhere in my house, anywhere I could in my car, anywhere out in my yard, I can answer. So that's one of the biggies. I already mentioned the exercise rings. Um, it also has the weather. And so you see it's got the UV index, wind, and uh, what the weather's going to be, etc. So that's, that's helpful. Another thing I use on this particular watch face, I don't see I have a timer. Now this is what intrigued me about my niece's watch. She's a teacher and she uses it all the time in her classroom. Uh, but I can set an alarm. Let me go back. I can also do a timer. So if I've got something on the stove, but I don't, I want to be maybe outside or I want to be down the hall and I might not hear the stove timer, I can set the timer here. So that's another thing I use. Um, I did think it would be fun to be able to listen to music. You see that? But when I tap that, it says I need the Bluetooth earphones. And now this is a little kind of funny. So I didn't register Bluetooth and I'm saying and seeing earphones. And I'm looking and I'm thinking, there's no place to plug in earphones. This is a little, then I went back and reread it. So I don't own any um, Bluetooth earphones. So I can't use the music. It's something I'd have to uh, think about and whether I wanted to do it. So those are some of the biggest uses. Oh, I also, I can take a screenshot by holding, pressing on the little round um, device there. And you see there's a little button right there. So if I go like this, let's see if it'll work. Oh, come on. Ah, didn't do it. I'm doing something wrong. But you can take a screenshot. And these are all the different apps that I could access. Uh, you can't take a picture yet from your phone, but I, or from your watch, but I think that's coming. So that's how I use my watch. I do use it every day, and uh, I don't regret spending the money. So thanks very much, Jill, for sharing that. And uh, viewers, um, if you would like to know, we would like to know what questions you have about the Apple Watch, Please share them below and remember to subscribe and share with your friends and family. Thanks for watching. This is Chris Toy and Jill Spencer with Boomer Tech Adventures.